I'm excited to be in a video today. I've been working on my dialogue so that when I'm finally on the camera, I don't get so nervous. I, for one, have been very busy recently. Well, first, first I'm going to eat a little bit of food before I get to my story because I'm really hungry. Where's the food go? So what I've been doing, guys, I've been decorating the island. Uh, people didn't know this, but I'm actually an interior decorator. But we don't really have an interior, so I guess I could be considered an exterior decorator, if that makes any sense. But I have totally redesigned our little island because I thought it was boring with all the green. And the, and the trees, and I was so sick of the trees. Shut up, Jim! You know, stupid trees. So what I've done is I've created some variety on our precious little island. I've put a lot of rocks around, which I know everybody likes. And there's rocks on the ground, and there's rocks above the ground, and there's water inside the rocks. I think I found the perfect balance of rocks and not rocks. Some people seem to think that the rocks are stinky. I don't I don't know what they could possibly be talking about. I have decontaminated all the body I mean the rocks and I, I plan to set them on fire later, but don't don't tell Spencer that. We gotta burn the the evidence. I mean, the rocks. You know, I sometimes get a little bit caught up in what I'm doing and I get confused. I just got to start to ramble and it's almost got me in trouble a couple of times. But the guy who almost caught me is now under one of these piles of rocks. So it's okay. We don't have to. We don't have to worry about anything. Our rock dominion will continue on forever. And we will continue to add even more piles of rocks as the time goes on. It just depends on who crosses. I mean, if we can find any more wonderful rocks to put over here. People think it's kind of weird that I name all my piles of rocks, but I don't think it's that weird. It's a good way to commemorate all of the people who've given their lives for the piles of rocks. But I digress. Exterior decorating is more than just knowing where to put your burnt pile of rocks. You gotta know where trees should go and where you should plant the grass. And you gotta keep track of who's gunning for your pistachio. Oh man, how did you get back here? You think you can get rid of me so easily? What? What are you talking about? I didn't do that. The rocks fell on you from the top of the cave. I saw your foot move. No, you didn't see anything, woman, besides the I set you on fire. Oh my goodness. Well, it's so great to see you, honey. I can't wait to bury you over another pile of rocks. You're a psychopath, Carl. Yeah, well, that's what you love about me, isn't it? Oh my goodness, talk about relationship issues. <laughs> well, I'm telling you, woman, you better stop following me. I'm trying to do a video about my decorations. I will not. I am your wife, Carl, and I will follow you to the end of the earth. You don't even know what that means. You don't even know nothing. I've seen the end of the world. What? You <laughs> You are seen the end of the world? Yeah. Like Jack Sparrow? Yep. Exactly <laughs> like Captain Jack Sparrow. Gosh dang, I hate those movies. <laughs> Scared of water. <laughs> but I guess that's going to end it for me today. I'm kind of overdoing this video because my stupid wife showed up and I had to ruin everything. Talking about water and pirates. Carl! Hey, you be quiet, all right? You've already ruined my whole video. I'm just going to go away. I'm going to go have my hands sick all. I've been putting it in the freezer for later. Hey, honey, do you want to try one of these hands and sickles? No. Good, because I wasn't going to give it to you anyway, you old You're fart. so mean, Carl. Why don't you lose some weight? 